Alrighty guys out here today digging the trench for the water line. Rent of this bad boy here. Ditch witch trencher. Luckily that's a plastic pipe so that'll be uh, real easy to hook on to. I'm surprised this thing was laid in the uh, early 60s. It's a plastic pipe but it's just three quarter inch plastic and uh, it used to be a spigot here but it didn't work and it leaked and everything so we took it out and we're just gonna run the pipe on over to there. So I'm gonna get trenching here and move the backhoe first. Thank you. About 32, gonna go a little deeper. That old one, heck, that old one's only about. Barely 36, about 34 or so. Yeah, we're running a little deeper here. Check depth again. No, if they rented it for an hour, it'd be enough. But I wonder if I can run back through that again once they get it kind of cleaned out. It's, yeah, I'm a good deep. Yeah, well, I'm about 30. I need to run deeper yet. That one's not, you know, but about 32, 34, so. Yeah, but, well, see, I think what happened is that wheel there gets up on it, and so, yeah, I have to run deeper yet. Hey, 
more weight on it here to pull the thing. Pretty sticky stuff there. Y'all by the got it's running about 30 inches there until I got it. And it's starting to get below the topsoil when I went down to 36 there. guys I uh, thought I'd finish up this video it's the next day uh, I got it trenched in um, <laughs> you can see I probably shouldn't even rented the trencher and just dug it all with the backhoe there used to be an old barn that sat in here somewhere and uh, from about right there where it caved in on this way I dig all that with the backhoe because there's so much concrete and crap and an old barbed wire here you can see and scrap iron and rocks and just anything you can imagine is buried in here so I had to dig it with the backhoe and uh, then we ended up getting and I was really busting it last night trying to get the 
water line in before the rain got here and I just did um, and you can see the rain caused a lot of crap to cave in and covered up my water line which is fine now that it's in kind of let it sail down around it and it'll probably just hold it in place better got it down about 36 inches which is the frost line around here and then right here you gotta have gravel around the bottom of this uh, so it drains all the water out of the pipes so it doesn't freeze in the winter time it drains all the water out of the, well, the spigot part um, so I took a flower pot there and cut a slit in it and uh, filled it up with gravel then as you can see and run it down in so I'm gonna go ahead and backfill now um, and hopefully if it rains again here in the next couple of days it'll really settle it back together um, and you can see we got water and uh, so yeah it's, I'm gonna go ahead and backfill this and then this project will be done got my electrical finished up, got the covers put on the lights and whatnot and the switches I got two outlets right there uh, that one will be for the fence charger and that will be just for if I want to plug something in future time might need an outlet and then uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and run another light or two in here at some point since I got space in the panel um, there's wiring in here is just crap so I'm going to go ahead and run a, some fresh wiring in um, and for safety Nazis out there I ran a uh, ran another ground wire um, off the ground strip in there down to the ground and I figure if I got that ground there I don't need any other wire whatsoever because that's going back to the ground source where the power from the power plant's coming from so uh, got a ground there it shouldn't really matter but um yeah, everything works pretty good I come out here last night and they uh lights were, were coming out here about 10 o'clock and flipped them on i couldn't believe how bright they were so i was real happy with it really lit it up a ways out there and whatnot so anyway i'll probably go ahead and shove this back shut now The little trencher was fun, fun to use yesterday, it just didn't work with the rocks, which I knew it wouldn't, but I didn't expect there to be, I expected to have to dig about seven or eight feet here at the backhoe and that'd be it, but, and now I rented the trencher because I didn't want to make such a mess of the yard, but that obviously didn't happen. Easy out here. We had an inch and man it blew like the deck and did and rain was about going sideways. Part of the storm I think is that Jeff Raymond had a bunch of rain down his way he said so probably rain won't come out of that. had some corn go down in spots. Luckily they didn't have any corn go down here, but or not that I know of anyways.
All right, got it all pushed back in here. With that run, the water was kind of orange, so I'm gonna let it flush the pipe out a little bit. But I'm gonna get it all. It's not really even. I tried driving across it, and I didn't get very far. The tire really sunk in, so I'm gonna let it settle together a little bit, and then use the grater box on the 300 there and grate it back off. But anyway, I think that'll. I'll about to do it here. It's quite the ordeal to get the water from there to here. But oh well, we made it. Anyway, thanks for watching.